So we just had a, another new episode of Gravity Falls. This time Stan takes Dipper, Mabel, Zeus, and Mabel's friends on a road trip to tour the different other roadside attractions in Oregon and to completely trash and vandalize them to get revenge on the fact that they've always pulled pranks on the mystery shack. While on this trip, Dipper tries to continue to get over Wendy, a crush that he's not completely over yet, and we see him going to Stan for advice. Stan, of course, gives Dipper a mixture of good and mostly bad advice by telling him to be confident and have a sense of humor, which can easily be taken out of context and turned into be a jerk and imitate a bad example. Dipper encounters several girls on the road trip under the assumption that he'll only see them in passing and he'll never see them again, taking their names and numbers but never bothering to call them or send them any kind of messages, using them as an opportunity to practice his pickup lines. This also impresses one of Mabel's friends, Tandy, who gets a crush on Dipper. When Dipper starts taking the crush seriously and tries to get along with her, a cartoon logic strikes and Dipper ends up encountering all of the previous girls that he had gotten phone numbers from and they're all simultaneously angry at him that he's used them as dating practice and was never really considering them seriously. Unfortunately, Dipper and Candy still have to get along and be friends because they're gonna have to see each other every day because she's still friends with Mabel and that means they're going to be seeing each other a lot whether they want to or not. He apologizes to her and she accepts his apology. In the meantime, Gruntle Stan flirts with a girl who turns out to be a spider monster creature beast who tries to encase him in a cocoon and eat him and turn him into a mummified exhibit. And because she flirts with Stan and accepts his flirting back, she becomes the manipulator instead of the manipulatee. At the end of the episode, all of the people that Stan ruined their businesses come back to Stan and graffiti the mystery shack. Zeus is left lost in a hedge maze, not moving and not being found. And Dipper and Tandy have made up. Not very much interesting going on in the terms of the supernatural. Gruntle Stand encounters a monster and the kids defeat it. End of story. We got a little bit of world building seeing the other tourist attractions, but that's not really important to the overall arc and story. The thing that we do get that is interesting here is another possible shipping relationship for Dipper. Now we have Dipper and Wendy, Dipper and Pacifica, and now Dipper and Tandy. It would be interesting to see how many more love interests Dipper can accumulate over the course of the rest of the season. Probably not nearly as many love interests as Mabel will accomplish as Mabel's way more into boys and Dipper is into girls, but it's still nice to see him have other possibilities to be considered. It'll take the rest of the season playing out for me to really get a feel for what couples I prefer Dipper with, but as of right now I'm pushing for Dipper and Pacifica as my preferred ship. 
bad latest here in the comments section below what you guys have to say about this episode, Dipper's relationships, the monster of the week, the other tourist attractions, or anything else that has happened. Anyhow, that's all I have to say for right now. I don't really want to get into a debate over flirting techniques. Anyhow, thank you for watching and good night.